So, in the previous part of this tutorial series, we have created the base of the sound playing system. Now, we are going to expand the system so it will support custom values for the loudness of the sound and its pitch scale. Let's jump straight to the code. Let's add the arguments and the code that sets streams properties to the value of our arguments. Here you have it. You may ask why did I use vector2 for pitch range if the pitch scale is a float value? Well, when we have the same sound playing over and over again and again, it might get frustrating. So, you need a way to change the sound in some way. And the easiest way for doing that is changing the pitch scale. So, I created a vector 2 that has the minimal value of the pitch scale and the maximum. And when we create the sound, it will choose somewhere in between of this range. Let's check it. Now we need to pass first pitch range and parameter. And now let's check the how it works. You might hear a slight difference between one sound and another sound when the boot shut. To make it more clear, let's even scale it lower. And now we can clearly see that our code works just as we intended randomly setting the pitch. Now what we can also add is a pause behavior. Pause behavior will define how the sound must behave when the game is paused. Because there are times when you need the sound to be played even while the game is paused. For instance when you're opening the pause menu and you need the sound to be played. Now what I'm going to introduce you is default values. As you can see here we have j five arguments and we don't all the time need to change pitch range, volume dB or even pause behavior because most of them will be the same all the time. Default values back you up in case if you don't pass an argument because the variable will be set to its value by default. So for instance, you don't need to manually write the parent of the sound we are creating. It will automatically be the child of the get recurrent scene, so our scene tree. Or pitch range, or loudness, or even pause. We don't need to specify all of these parameters because they will be set by default. And still, if we need to specify them, we can do that. Here, we have five arguments, but we are passing on the three of them. And let's check how it works. It works absolutely fine. So, that's it for today. I hope this lesson was helpful to you. And see you next time.